everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that we'd do a room tour. I'll show you my beautiful pink and gold girly princess slice of heaven. Still a few things that need to be adapted and added to my room. It's definitely nowhere near completely finished. I'm constantly adding stuff all the time. I actually just redid a shelf like two days ago ready for this video. And as I said, there's just a few things in general that I would like to change. I only repainted it like five months ago and already I want to repaint it again. I want to do pink walls and white coving. Currently it's the opposite way around. So stay tuned for that. But for now I'm happy with it and I just wanted to show you guys, you know, my safe space. This is where I spend like 90% of my time it's where I do all my filming, my editing, etc. So without further ado, this is my room tour. Welcome to my room. Now you'll have to excuse, there is a few door handles and like hinges and stuff that are still silver in my room that I am yet to paint gold. For example, this door handle, it does not match. I know, I haven't got round to it. This is as you first walk in. On the back of my door, I have hanging up all of my dressing gowns, bath robes, silk robes and stuff like that. Obviously colour coordinated, all pink and white. Directly above that, I have all of my gorgeous Minnie Mouse ears that I've got from trips to Disney, from my sister giving them to me from her trip to Disney. Top pair on the left, I actually just bought on Shop Disney online because I saw them, I thought they were gorgeous. And I normally put them on my head to do my makeup. Not as much anymore, because look at that one. That was from my trip to Disney in 2019 and it is covered in makeup and fake tan. I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed it's not going anywhere. And the middle pair my sister got from her trip to Disney World last year and gave to me because they're pink and gold. So when you walk in, the first thing you'll see is my huge wardrobe. We put this in about six months ago, I want to say, and it was because I desperately needed more wardrobe space. Now looking at where all of my clothes go, I do not understand how I coped before only having my one built-in wardrobe. I have no idea. This is the Ikea Pax wardrobe. You can design them yourself. We went down to Ikea, designed it on the computer and then bought all the parts. So obviously on the main rail, I have all of my go-to clothes. At the moment, it's in kind of autumn winter mode. I haven't switched it out to spring wardrobe just because it's not quite warm enough for like flowy, flowery dresses yet. On the left side, I have all of my coats, all my dresses, long, short, you name it. It's there. It's into like my more party, sort of sparkly dresses, jackets, like tweed blazers, jumpers all of my jeans and then more jackets on the end and they are all hung up on these gorgeous pink velvet rose gold hangers that I got from Amazon I think you got like 30 for 20 quid and I ordered a million of these at the top of my wardrobe here is where I keep all of my handbags I have my three like favorite ones at the front the ones that match my room obviously they're pink and gold and my little white Chanel to display but at the back when I tell you it's horror stories back there they're just sort of jumbled there is no nice way to organize my bags. This all goes as far back as the wardrobe, so there is a lot of bags, and that's not even all of them. Some of them are in a different drawer, which I'll show you in a sec. So I put these adorable little gold butterflies on either side, just to make the wardrobe a bit more girly. On top of the wardrobe is my bigger like tote bags and stuff that I can lay flat. At the bottom of the wardrobe, we've got a shelf and then two drawers. It contain shoes, handbags, sunglasses, and more shoes. Up here I have all of my tall knee-high boots, over-the-knee boots. They just needed more space. And on the end where I tend to put my longer dresses and coats I put the ones that I can fold down easily there's another row behind these as well so in this top drawer here I have all of my gorgeous Mary Janes they're like my favorite shoes ever and also my new slingbacks from next that I just got how gorgeous I also have all of my sunglasses over here plenty of sunglasses they all stay in that drawer and in the drawer underneath, I have more handbags. I actually recently cleared out this drawer. In this section, there was a load more shoes that I just wasn't wearing because I forgot that I had them. So it gave me an excuse to get rid of them. Now film on this video has told me how much I really need to reorganize this drawer. Right next to my wardrobe is my beautiful vanity and I say that in quotation marks because it's actually just chest of drawers. I don't have a proper sit down vanity desk. I wish I did. I just don't physically have the space in my room for one of those just yet but I would love one. So for now I do all of my hair, makeup, skincare, sort of anything you need to like be in front of a well-lit mirror for. I stand here and do it. I've actually recently changed the setup of this and I'm very pleased with how it looks. I've got all my gisu like pink bow goodies over here, my perfumes on this side and then just a little flower arrangement fake obviously because there is no way that i can keep 
real flowers alive and then i've got my vanity mirror which again is from ikea i don't know what it's called but it's like the basic go-to square mirror and then these little mirror lights i actually bought off amazon for i want to say like not even like a tenner and they've lasted me a long time you just fix them on yourself plug them in at the main and you're good to go and i put a few pictures of just me and my sisters and my nieces on there as well the lights by the way actually have a few different settings I have them in like cool light warm I tend to go for the middle sort of in between the two so this is my little beauty station if you will and directly above my mirror i have my bookshelf which i recently incorporated into my room either end i put a little cinderella mug because obviously she is my fave she has to be featured in like every element of this room i've got these gorgeous little pink star bookends on amazon as well i think they're only like 10 pounds and all of my beautiful books my current read is the summer i turn pretty it's the first book in the series i'm going to move on to my gorgeous bridgerton books i cannot wait to read them bookshelf itself is just a basic float shelf i think we got them in like b and q for i think i want to say like only like six pounds they're not that expensive and obviously again my dad put this up i do not trust myself with a drill the actual chest of drawers itself is the most basic thing it's the standard i want to say the mom one from ikea nine times out of ten most people have got this in their house okay it was the quickest and easiest white chest of drawers i could find to go in my room five years ago but now i really do want to change it out for one of those like vintage looking ones but let me quickly show you what's inside all of the drawers apologies if they're not that tidy my top one i have all my socks bras knickers and shorts and god knows what the next one i have more like sports bras and like little crop tops all of my lacy bralettes at the back tights because i pretty much live in tights and then more bras the next one is all like crop tops at the back and then all t-shirts crop tops again polo shirts and this chest of drawers is another thing that will also get switched out for spring summer in this drawer we have all of my bigger like oversized t-shirts and also all of my long sleeve like turtlenecks and knitted sweaters and finally in my bottom drawer i have all of my joggers i'm considering potentially putting like some cute gold handles or chrome moldings or something on here to make it look a bit more princessy rather than buying a whole new chest of drawers but we shall see and directly opposite all of that, we have my full length mirror. I think it was like 90 pound or something like that. Again, it's one of those bog standard Ikea mirrors. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm sure if you just go straight to Ikea and search up white mirror, this is bound to come up. It's the bigger size. I think it's the 75 centimeters, I wanna say. I did have the original skinnier one, but I needed more room to look at myself and admire my outfits. I've got these gorgeous like vines down the side that I've tied like bows and more bows too and on top i have my two funko pops these are the only ones that i have i've told myself i can't start a full collection because i just won't stop got cinderella in her transformation and tom holland spider-man actually my brother didn't realize he got tom holland i think he meant to get andrew garfield because he is obviously my favorite but regardless Got a little spider-man and a little picture from my sixth birthday party which was a glitter girls party also i can easily detach the mirror from the wall and hook it off and move it around if i need to which is great and down just below my mirror is one of my favorite things about my room my shoe rack which again is another thing that needs to be painted gold i just haven't got around to it yet so imagine it's gold here is where i display all of my most beautiful like presentable shoes mainly pink a lot of these are ones that brands have sent me some of them i'll be honest don't even fit like these are uncomfortable they don't fit my toes these don't fit me either but because they're so pretty and they have this little place i don't mind keeping them there for display purposes people spend so much money on ornaments these are my ornaments next up is my makeup slash hair like cabinet i always call them my alex drawers they're not technically the alex ones from ikea i can't remember the name of these ones specifically but again if you just type up like makeup storage unit i'm sure it will come up more or less all of my furniture matches on top of here i have my cotton pads cotton buds makeup remover all of my daily essentials you know body lotion deodorant all that kind of stuff and a cute little box that i actually made myself from a shoe box because i have a plug socket back here and it was looking ugly so I covered it up with a little box. Of course, my beautiful Dyson hairdryer is on display on its little holder with a little pink bow. Would you expect anything less? And I also put my little headband through the hole because I didn't get all the attachments with my hairdryer. I just got the smoothing one. So it left a little hole, which was very convenient for my get ready headband. Above that, I also have this beautiful Disney key that I want to say I bought from the Disney store 
my closest one before it closed down which is a very sad time just look how pretty and above that some butterflies which lead up to decorate a certain shelf that i will show you in a second these gold butterflies pretty much feature everywhere in my room i tried putting them on my bookshelf and on the edges of my tv but for some reason i don't know why they would constantly fall off but they stick to the walls doesn't make any sense. Let me quickly show you what's in these drawers. So in the first one, we have some makeup. I have all like my powder blushes and bronzers over on this side. And then all my cream products like bronzers, cream blush, concealer and everything on this side. I actually recently redid this storage as well and got these little white containers. And at the back, I have some lady products because I always need some of them. The next drawer is more makeup because you can't have enough. I have all my mascaras and brow products in this one. All of, again, just my translucent powders and highlighters in this one. And then back there, I have some eyeshadow palettes and like contour palettes as well. Now moving on to the bigger drawers. This next one is all of my skincare. So we've got all of my beautiful pink skincare lined up at the front. Body oils, moisturizers, lash serums, everything, you name it, it's all in here. Even all my hair syrups as well, beautifully lined up. Then there's more creams and ointments and God knows what at the back. The next one is my hair drawer. So I've got all my brushes, tangle teasers, combs and everything at the front. Then in this little basket is all of my scrunchies, hair bows, clips, you name it, it's in there. There is a million and one bows in there. Also got my favourite dry shampoo in here as well. Hair bands, claw clips, bobby pins and just more clips and stuff at the back. In the next one down from that is more makeup, which you may be thinking should go with the rest of the makeup in the top drawer where the skincare is. I've been thinking this for the longest time. I just can't be bothered to do it. But for now, I've got all my brushes down here, lipsticks, lip glosses, everything in there. More eyeshadow palettes, blush and like bronzer palettes at the back. All my lip liners here and all my sprays, foundations and everything else like that. And in the last drawer is most of my hair care tools. And I say most because there's still more under my bed. So I've got my straighteners, curlers, waver, duet style. Everything's in there along with all my hairsprays and heat protects and stuff like that. That is all of the drawers. We'll do this section briefly because it's the most unesthetic part of my room. It's where I keep all the leftover bits and bobs that have no genuine space. I've got my air wrap down here, my jewellery box, pencil case, my bin with these gorgeous pink bin liners that I found on Amazon. My sewing machine is just down there and then this box is full of all of my pyjamas. I'm not going to go through the drawers in this cabinet just because they're an absolute mess and I need to sort them out and there's really nothing that exciting in them. But on top of this little cabinet is three little friends. We've got obviously the OG, my Cinderella toy that I've had, I want to say since I was, I guess maybe five or six, I want to say. She is battered, she's bruised, she's all torn apart, but I think that's the part of like loving her, you know? So I'm reluctant to fix her and clean her up because I feel like that just shows how much she's loved. <laughs> Behind her, I also have my Draco Malfoy Slytherin teddy bear from Build-A-Bear that my friend got me for my 21st. And next to her, I've got another one from one of my other friends. We went both for our 21st and sort of bought each other's Build-A-Bear. Mine is obviously Hannah Montana themed, as you can see, but she does have some gorgeous little glass slippers on. My TV, so unbelievably ugly, I can't even begin to explain. But someone did mention that I should get some gold vinyl to go around the edges, so, Hold out for that. Nothing that exciting, just my TV. But above my TV, however, is one of my favorite shelves in my room. It's my Cinderella themed shelf. As you can tell, pretty much everything is Cinderella themed. There's the odd little thing, like a little Spanish dancer and a gondola from Venice. But majority is Cinderella and sort of Disney themed. It's just stuff I've collected over the years. There's my journal that's got literally everything in it and no one's allowed to read it. Pictures from Disney. My lounge fly bag that my sisters treated me to when we went to Disney World a few years ago. My glass slippers as well, which are literally my pride and joy. I got them again when we went to Disney World in 2019. But my dad got them in the size that I would have been when we went the first time when I was four. Oh, it made me cry. And look. They light up. This is truly my favourite part of my room, I, I, I'd have to say. <laughs> Moving swiftly along to my bed. This is where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean editing and watching films and eating chocolate. Because that's about all that happens in my room, if I'm being honest. This is where it all happens. I have a single bed, sadly. Don't get me wrong, would love a double or even a small double but it just won't fit in my room. So she's a single bed girly. She's a very tall girly, so my feet do kind of hang off the edge if I'm being honest, but because I've done it for so long now, it's actually almost like a comfort to have my feet hanging off the edge of my bed. 
you get me? But all my cushions, obviously all pink and floral themed. And my bedding as well is from Dunelm. I got it recently. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've also put a pink fluffy blanket over my headboard because it's just a plain grey. Because the theme of my room last year was grey and white. And when I changed it to pink and white, obviously, last summer, I had to change everything about it. So I repainted the walls, got new curtains, etc. And I felt like the headboard just didn't stand out in a nice way. So I got a nice pink fluffy blanket. A little life hack. Just tuck it around the edge and it completely transformed the bed. And my beautiful curtains, of course. For the life of me, I can't remember where I got these from. They were just a random boutique online and I found them amongst a million others. Searching for the perfect pair of like pink and gold curtains and these are definitely it they've got the little gold stars they're like silky the back lining i think is like a satin finish which looks really really lovely i didn't want blackout curtains because i don't like sleeping in a completely pitch black room luckily this is actually gold it's one of the few things in here that's actually gold i put on these little hooks as well these little gold ones they were originally white and i spray painted them gold and of course i had to add a little pink bow to make it Coquette. I think the hook as well makes it more princessy. Let's move swiftly along to the last aesthetic shelf in my room. I recently redid this one until about a week ago. It was a Harry Potter themed shelf, which if you watched any other room tours that I've done on my TikTok or you just you're an OG and you know, you're gonna miss the Harry Potter shelf. But I did keep just a couple elements, obviously, so it's not completely gone. The theme of the shelf is predominantly like vintage pink princess ballerina bow vibe very princess annalise who obviously is the focal point of this shelf fun fact i actually bought this barbie doll i want to say like four or five months ago she was in ruins her hair was destroyed her dress was ripped her crown was broken she had no shoes so i completely did her up redid her hair sewed her dress fixed her crown bought her shoes bought her stand and now she is the main focal point of this shelf i'm very proud of myself i want to do erica as well if you don't know who she is she's from the princess and the pauper barbie movie and if you haven't watched that what have you been doing with your life all of the other bits i got from either like shein or amazon just to you know dress up the place this little telescope is actually from the observatory in greenwich i've got my content notebook as well up here because it fit the theme it's where i keep everything completely organized so i know exactly what i'm posting each and every day and again the gorgeous butterflies that go along the top just to complement the shelf the wall looks a bit boring and I'm thinking about doing maybe a Barbie themed picture collage but for now the butterflies will do. Also this canvas over here I actually painted myself and I've got two other baby canvases that I'm also going to do similar designs maybe like a rose and something else princessy so I can switch them out so I don't get bored. And this gorgeous glass slipper with the brushes as well is one of my presents that I got for Christmas. How adorable this is my main feature wall just above my bed it has the vines again just like on the mirror my friend actually helped me put these up around three years ago and we did it with this string and like the command stickers as you can see one of them has got pretty weak so i need to repair that then it's got bows and butterflies and everything hanging from it to make it feel very ethereal very enchanted forest-esque and in the middle of these i have fairy lights which i'll pop on for you now just because I'm simply not a big light person, so this is much better. And it's a nice reading light in the evening as well. Next to that is my original built-in wardrobe, which currently has a beautiful coquette, like, cottage core dress hanging from it, which I thought was a nice little detail. Let's just open her up. That's not mine. <laughs> I'm saving that for a friend. At the top, I have all of my blazers over in the corner, jumpers, cable knits, shirts, every single oversized sweatshirt and hoodie you can possibly think of, color coordinated more or less. And then I've got leather jackets, denim jackets, and faux fur coats in the corner. That's all jam packed in there. Originally, this wardrobe had like a shelf at the top with all my handbags. It had my shoes at the bottom and then just one rail in the middle. And I honestly don't know how I coped. I really don't. Down the bottom I have all of my skirts and shorts. Yes, these are technically spring summer wardrobe, but there's nowhere else for them to go. And honestly, I don't really have a whole rail full of skirts yet. But they're fine just there. In the corner I have all of my longer like skirts and everything that needs to be folded over. And again, it's colour coordinated. It goes from black to blue to purple in the middle, pink sandy nude cream white and then all of my shorts and then directly underneath that i have more shoes i have a shelf that was originally at the top which can fit two rows and then there's also two rows at the bottom i actually recently cleared out some of the shoes that are in here if you saw it about three days ago it was jumbled there were so many in here that again i forgot i had 
so I never ended up wearing so I just got rid of them but I've got mainly sort of party dressy heels up here at the back I've got all my ankle heeled boots and then on the bottom at the back I have converses running trainers things that I don't tend to grab at all really and we have reached the final section of my room which is my bedside cabinet which features my harry potter books which i'm actually thinking i'm going to wrap in like some sort of pink wrapping paper so they blend in but from the back so that way i can still open them i did a similar thing at christmas with some christmas wrapping paper i think i'm going to do it again i have my current book up here like i said the summer i turn pretty and a little butterfly on it apparently that i'm guessing fell off of the vines i've got some faux flowers here because like i said there is no way i'm keeping any real flowers alive in this beautiful vase as well or vase however you want to say it that i believe was like one of my great grandmothers or great aunt i can't remember what my mum told me but either way isn't it just beautiful i also have my trusty little spider-man phone holder put my phone there every single night he makes it look like a real task to hold it but yeah i got this for christmas like two years ago and i know it doesn't quite fit the aesthetic of the room but i just can't get rid of him next to that i have a little hand sanitizer a little joe malone one it smells really really nice a little bow again the little set is obviously from ikea i want to say that this matches directly to my chest of drawers and is also mal i actually recently reorganized these so you're lucky they're not a complete tip but in the top drawer i have more bin liners matches medicine like plugs and stuff like that every like essential gum of course my remotes and pens and all of all of my go-to essentials are in the top and in the bottom drawer i have the most important essentials sweets loads and loads of jolly ranches a million blow pops at the bottom chocolate buttons i don't know just whenever i have random snacks i just chuck them in here it keeps them organized you know and then just all of my really important documents and god knows what just down there and that concludes our video for today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you actually like the aesthetic of my room and loved my room tour like i said a few things still need to be like updated and painted gold but for now i'm happy with it i hope this has maybe given you some inspiration for your room if you're thinking about decorating it in a similar way pink and gold barbie princess as i like to call it i know this is quite long-winded but i've done a few room tours on my tiktok and i thought that i finally got an opportunity for youtube to do a proper like in-depth talk and i can tell you where i got a lot of my stuff i will see you in my next one please like and subscribe down below and i'll see you very soon